Welcome back. In this session, we will discuss the role of John the Baptist, an essential figure in the ministry of Jesus Christ. God called John the Baptist to an important role, to testify of the coming of the Son of God and to prepare people to receive him. His role was foretold by many prophets and he fulfilled his calling in an effective way. As we discuss this man, please think of your own calling and the importance of testifying of Jesus Christ in our words and way of life. All Christians have been called by God to play a role in the work of the Church of Christ. John the Baptist was born a short time before Jesus, and he had a very distinct purpose to fulfill, to prepare the way for Jesus. He was a baptizer, he was a prophet, he was a witness, and he was a disciple. And through his story, believers are reminded to be watchful for their own calling. John the Baptist's father was Zechariah, and his mother was Elizabeth. According to Luke 1.7, they were both righteous in God's eyes, careful to obey all the Lord's commandments and regulations. Although they were very old, the Lord saw to it that Elizabeth would conceive a child. Not only that, but Zechariah was told their son would be filled with the Holy Spirit and would turn many people towards the Lord. John's escape to the wilderness is an example of what it takes sometimes in order to be able to listen and grow in the Spirit. The wilderness served as his classroom. It was the place where he would become educated by the Spirit and be prepared to go out into public ministry when the time was right. The most important lesson we can take away from John the Baptist is that he did what he was called to do. This is very important. He prepared the way for Christ. Jesus found people waiting for him in the places where John preached. It's where Jesus started his ministry. Firstly, John preached a message of repentance and encouraged the people to be baptized. Secondly, he forecasted the coming of Jesus. And finally, he baptized Jesus and witnessed God proclaiming Jesus as his son. John the Baptist was effective in his ministry. The Gospels of Matthew and Mark both note that people not only came from all over the Judean countryside to hear him, but took action by being baptized in the Jordan River perhaps in part due to John's down-to-earth attitude. He had clothes made of camel's hair and a leather belt. He set himself apart from the scribes and the Pharisees and was able to meet people where they were. Matthew and Mark record John's announcement that someone is coming who is greater than I am, so much greater that I'm not even worthy to stoop down like a slave and untie the straps of his sandals. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> John was a little reluctant to fulfill the third part of his calling, the baptism of Jesus. When Jesus arrived at the bank of the Jordan, John tried to talk him out of it. He pointed to Jesus that he was the one in need of baptism by Jesus, not the other way around. Jesus responded to John by saying, it should be done, for we must carry out all that God requires. After the baptism of Jesus, we know from the Gospels that he continued to baptize and that he was eventually called into the presence of Herod. John criticized the immoral lifestyle of the king and was thrown into prison. From his prison cell, John the Baptist sent his disciples to ask Jesus, are you the Messiah we've been expecting, or should we keep looking for someone else? John's situation had caused him to be uncertain about who Jesus was. John was expecting that Jesus would usher in a regime of punishment and judgment, but instead, Jesus performed works of love. That is why he answered with the words, the blind see and the lame walk. 
the lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up and the poor have the gospel preached to them. In other words, Jesus came to give life, not to judge or destroy it. In Matthew 11, 11, Jesus said, Assuredly, I say to you, among those born of woman, there was not risen one greater than John the Baptist, but he who is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. Many have used this verse to paint a negative picture of John the Baptist. Jesus was not implying anything negative about John's ministry and work. He was simply teaching his disciples that those who have been born again out of water and the Holy Spirit, those who then belong to the kingdom of God, are from this perspective greater than those just born of a woman. John the Baptist is ultimately put to death by Herod. Today, John stands as an example for all of us on how to fulfill God's calling in our lives. John prepared the way for Jesus and didn't let himself get in the way, even when he may have been surprised by Jesus' love for mankind. Jesus cared and still cares for his sheep and sacrificed his life so all could enter into the kingdom of God. John the Baptist was just one messenger of this incredibly good news to man. This concludes the second session. Please turn to the questions in your discussion guides now and share some thoughts together.